priorities. We all have them and we all have different ones. When I was a student years ago, I was taking an English class, it was a technical writing class, and our teacher at the time, his name was Brian, said that everyone has different priorities and school is not everyone's main priority. And that just shook me. I was like, oh my God, I was like totally blown away by this perhaps obvious comment. To me, now I think back and look on his comment and I think, oh yeah, well obviously school is not everyone's priority. But as a college student, I remember hearing that and thinking, wow, I really thought everyone in college was there to like study and give it their best and 100%, but that's not the case, right? We're human beings. We have other responsibilities. Many people have families, significant others. Some people prioritize, you know, God. They go to church. Everyone has different priorities. So what does this have to do with succeeding in mathematics? Well, it's pretty simple. In order to succeed at math, you need to raise mathematics in your priority list. You need to make it a higher priority. Now, I'm not saying you need to be like I was, where math was my life and it was my, my number one priority. I mean, math for me was my number one priority, besides maybe my, my family and stuff, but it was really, really up there with, with everything else that's considered really important for most human beings. I studied at the expense of you know sacrificing friendships and relationships. I studied like crazy. Math consumed my life. Now, does it need to consume yours in order to succeed? No, no it doesn't. But if you're struggling and if you're watching this video, and maybe that means you are struggling, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're just watching it because you decided to watch it. Raise math on your priority list. Take it just you know, one or two notches higher, and I think you'll notice a difference. You should notice a difference when you do this. Good luck to you.